Let's have a look at a question involving the application component of this topic, which is space shuttles. Now we've got a space shuttle that changes direction um, when it's traveling through space due to a thrust that's applied so it can change direction. The space shuttle is 20,000 kilograms and it's traveling at uh, 2,000 meters a second. It changes 90 degrees within four seconds as well. Now we're going to look for the change in momentum and the average force. And this is assuming that the rocket uh, maintains its same velocity. Okay, so what do we know about momentum? We'll say that the, um, the change in momentum uh, is equal to the final momentum, take the initial momentum. So we can say that change in momentum is equal to the final momentum, take initial momentum. Now, momentum is a vector quantity, so we can draw this in vector form. Now, the final momentum of the rocket ship is to the right. The initial momentum of the rocket ship is up. However, this equation is calling for the negative. So we will draw this momentum down. So we've got the final momentum and the initial momentum. Now the result is what we get here. So due to our assumptions, we know that the final and the initial momentum magnitudes are the same as the mass and the velocity have not changed. So what we get is um, these two values being the same magnitude, forming an isosceles triangle, meaning this angle is 45 degrees. Now we can actually work out this change in momentum now. So first, let's work out uh, the final, mo final momentum. So momentum, so the momentum is equal to mass times velocity. 20,000 times 2,000, 4.4 times 10 to the 7 seconds. And we can use Pythagoras and we can calculate the change in momentum. So, so the change is the square root 4.4 times 10 to the 7 squared using Pythag, which we get an answer of 6.2 times 10 to the 7 seconds, but we will say 45 degree, 45 degrees in that direction. Now, our part B, uh, we're looking for an average force. And normally I'd go to another page, but I'm just going to write it here. So we know if force, when we're talking about momentum, is equal to the change in momentum over the change in time. So substituting our values. Our force is... 1.6 times 10 to the 7 newtons and this is also in the direction of delta P.